GE Critical Powers Power Talks. Today we're going to talk about automatic transfer switches, how there are different types, how they may work internally, and why you might choose one over another. We'll look at the contactor type, a breaker type, a power contactor, and a static type of automatic transfer switch. In the contactor type, we typically see that there are two lighting type contactors. This is a low cost mechanism. Unfortunately, it doesn't provide any overload or short circuit withstand capability. And it won't perform very well under abnormal circumstances, but it will transfer loads from one side to another. The breaker type is the most common. Typically, this is configured as two motor driven MCCBs. It does provide overcurrent protection in the same package as the ATS. Unfortunately, motor reliability can be poor and MCCBs can be quick to trip on any overloads or short circuits, leaving the load without power. The contactor type is also very common. This is usually solenoid operated with a twin contact mechanism. It's very fault tolerant, it's high speed, and has very reliable operation. It does, however, require upstream over overcurrent protection and is more expensive typically to design than the MCCB. Static type is usually implemented with solid state SCR switching, so there are no moving parts. It's very high speed switching, typically less than a quarter of a cycle, but it only works with two live sources that are in sync. In other words, two UPS outputs is, is very typical. Here we see one of uh, GE's STS series transfer switches. It features selectable voltage limits, uh, redundant power supplies, uh, fail-safe fail -safe CMOS logic for fast and reliable control. It's very easy to install and operate. Redundant cooling provides full functionality even in the case of fan failure. Surge protection is also Im impl implicit in the, in the design. system will block transfer in case of short circuit, preventing jeopardy to other users. Manually bypass for no break operation. Dry contacts provide the status for remote monitoring and alarm information. Units can be rack mounted if that's your, if that's your preference, if you want to integrate the system with, uh, with other, other equipment. And there's a user friendly control panel which makes for easy operation. The neutral in these cases is dimensioned for 200% of the rated capacity in cases unbalanced loads. I hope you found this information useful. If you want more information about uh, GE's ATS products, please contact your local GE representative or look for it on our GE website. Thanks very much for listening.